Welcome to the lecture. If you want to become certified solvent professional and you want to accelerate your career, you want to stand out on the job interview, you have to pass SOLIDWORKS certification exam. How to take this exam and how to pass this exam, find out on the end of this lecture. If you find this video useful, click like and subscribe. In the previous lecture, we showed how we can convert a solid body into sheet metal body. And now we're going to show how we can convert a 3D shelled body to sheet metal body. When you convert shell body to sheet metal body, it is important that all walls on the sheet metal body have the same thickness. To convert shell body to sheet metal body, we're going to use insert bands tool. So let's select this tool. Here we have band parameters. So first we have to select the fixed face. So we're going to select this face here, like this. Then here we have a bent radius, so let's go with 2. As you can see here, we can define the thickness, because we have defined the thickness when we were creating the shell part. Here we have a band allowance auto relief, and down here we have to select our rip parameters. So let's click here, and now let's select our edges where we want to rip. Let's select this edge here. Let's select this edge here, like this. We can select the edge from this side, inner side or other side, it doesn't matter. So let's select this edge here and this edge here, like this. And down here we have a rip gap, so let's go with 0.10 millimeters. And here we have the outer relief, we have to create our reliefs. So let's check your outer relief, let's click OK. And now here we have the message, outer relief cuts were made for one or more bands. Let's go with OK. And here we can see our reliefs. And here we have a rips. As you can see, here we have a gap, rib gap. Here we have a gap here and here. As you can see, and here between those flanges, we have overlap and underlap connections. And we're going to show how we can change this. But before we do so, let's go here to the flattened version. Like this. And this is our flattened version. So here we have the relief cuts. And here we have a band lines. As you can see, this one, this one, this one, and this one here. Now let's uncheck this. Let's go here to the feature manager design tree. Here we have a few folders. We have a sheet metal where we can define the global parameters. Here we have the rip. We can go to the edit feature and here we can define our rips. We're going to go here later. Now let's close this. Now here we have the flattened bands. If we open this, here we have our bands, as you can see four bands. We can go here, we can go edit feature, and here we can define the band radius. So we can change the band radius if we want, but here we have a use default radius, we can uncheck this, and you can go for example with three millimeters, like this, let's click OK. And now we have changed the band radius. Now if we go to the evaluate, measure, we select this edge here, here we have radius three millimeters. Let's close this. And the next folder that we have here is process bands. So let's edit this feature like this. And now here we can see our band process as well. Here also we can change the band radius. Let's close this. Now let's go here to the rip. Let's go to the edit feature. So here we can change the overlap and underlap direction. For example, we can click on this arrow. We can click on this arrow, this arrow, and we can change direction. So we can go with overlap and underlap, like this. Let's click OK now. And now we have a gap on this side. So before we had a gap here, now we have a gap here. So this is how you can change from overlap to underlap. As well, let's go to the RIP to again, edit feature. We can click here, for example, on edge four. And here we can go with change direction. And now we can go, as you can see, to one direction, overlap, underlap, or we can go with open, but, as you can see now here. Now let's click OK. Now you can see that here we have open, but. So we don't have here overlap or underlap, as we have on those three edges here. So again, we can go to the rip, edit feature. We have to set it here, for example, edge tree. And let's go here with change direction. And now you can see here we have two arrows, open but, 
let's click again. Now we have overlap. Let's click again. Now we have underlap like this. So let's go here with two arrows. Let's click here. Let's go with two arrows. Let's click here. Let's go with two arrows. Let's click OK. And now here you can see that here we have an open bot, open bot, open and open. So this is the same. So this is how we can convert the three D shell part into a sheet metal. So let's go here to the sheet metal. Now we're going to show another way how we can do this. So let's go back. Like this, this is a 3D shell part. There is a second way how we can do this. So let's go to the sheet metal. Here we have a tool rip. So we can create a rip between two edges in a sheet metal part in advance. So we can select this tool, rip. So we can select those edges. This one, this one, this one, and this one. Here also we can change direction, as you can see, like this. And here we can change the rip gap. Let's click OK. And now here we have defined the rib edges. Now we can go here to the insert bands. And now we only have to select here fixed face. This one here. And we don't have to here define the rib because we already define our ribs. So let's click OK. And here we have a message. Auto relief cuts were made for one or more bands. Let's go with OK. And we got the same result as you can see. So you can go to the insert bands tool, then you can define your fixed face and the rip edges, or you can first define the rip edges, then you can use here insert bands and only define the fixed face. So those are the two ways how you can convert 3D shell part to sheet metal body. Hey, my name is Alan. Thank you for watching this lecture. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. If you want to become a SOLIDWORKS professional, if you want to earn a SOLIDWORKS official certificate, then you have to pass software certificate exam. This can help you to get a better job, to negotiate a better salary, and to accelerate your career. In order to earn software certificate, you have to pass the exams. I have a courses that can prepare you for the exams. I have enrolled over 30,000 students. The rating I have for a professional exam is 4.9. I have preparation for solid professional, finite element analysis, surface, sheet metal, and drawings. In courses, you will find all of the tools explained. You will find exercises, examples, and samples exam, the similar one you can find on the real exam. Right now, I have a special offer, and this is if you buy one course for $10, you will get one course for free that you want. As well, if you refer any course to someone else, you can earn 50% per course. This way, you can make passive income. So if you want to get SOLIDWORKS certifications and you want to prepare for those exams, click the link below, check my website, and like and subscribe this video.